This has been one massive smear job for me. This is a little What kind of an ending was that? A completed indication. Blacksburg. Rob Ford. Now, you can say what you want about Rob Ford. If you want, you can believe he was a black sheep who had a little too much to eat, a little too much to drink, went too far on the ice and started to sink. Or you can believe that he was the target for the left wing who lost their voice and wanted to sing. So they tossed him into the ring and feasted on a meaty frog who became the king. But here's the thing. In my mind, he was an everyday guy doing shit on the sly, smoking too much crack and drinking too much rye. Granted, that doesn't make him a bad guy. Just another boy from the six, who was a little sick, took his licks, and turned a few tricks, and then kicked. But he did a lot of good, and thank him we should, for doing what he could to help me and you. And let us not judge another man till we've walked a mile in his shoes. Garth Dravinsky. Now, if you think David Mervish is the king and the devil is Garth Jabinski, you didn't convince me. Because do brought to the six, Joseph, Phantom of the Opera, Showboat, and Ragtime. Now, if you're a theater buff like me, that's 15 hours of Broadway. That's pretty damn sublime. Now, if you're saying for Garth we should not pine, he committed a crime, should go to the back of the line. I'm saying yes, he committed a crime, but he did his time. And his genius and hard work, we can't be denying. But now we have an ethical dilemma. If a man robs his own cookie jar and gets burnt to shit and charred, does that mean that we don't recognize his contribution and his Tony winning producing of shows that slammed racism and persecution? I mean, Showboat and Ragtime had me crying, and I'm not lying. Those stories he produced were yours and mine. Look, I think it's not black and white. It's not a fixed fight. It's not a one-hour flight. In the case of Garth, it's really up to you to decide what is wrong and what is right. Conrad Black. Now you're free to believe what you want about Conrad Black. You can believe that he was a publishing giant who was bold and defiant, maybe Greenspan's best client. Or you can believe that his face should be on statues and plaques, or that he should be disavowed for the scruples he lacked. You can believe that he was smug as a slug, an erudite bloke who waxed prosperous and then choked. A man who should have rode his Bentley a little more gently down the highways and byways of excess and plenty. Or you can believe that he was the son of a handsome and athletic father who set the bar a little too high and he never could negotiate it as hard as he tried. And don't get me wrong, I'm not here to justify the guy or tell you what are the facts and what are the lies. But there are contributions he made to Canada that should not be masked or disguised. Because at the end of the day, he published the news and the rubbish for the earnest and the sluggish. He did history and sophistry, sometimes terse and bitterly, and sometimes in defeat and sometimes in victory. He wrote about Canada from the Vikings to the present, about the sophisticates and the peasants. And he told our story with an orator's tongue, a dashing tale for the old and the young. And I'm of the opinion, and of this I have no dominion, that Mr. Black's effort should not be underpinned. Because as the saying goes, let the first stone be cast by the man who has not sinned. Hey man, it's just human nature to win the race, flip the ace, win the case, and then fall flat on your face. Hey, even Hoffa became the boss and then disappeared without a trace. Because herein lies the truth of life. Easy come, easy go, sometimes we win big and sometimes we lose our dough. Sometimes we create a mess and regress and give a little less than our best. And other times we surge ahead, despite what they said, and we learn and grow. But sooner or later, man... We are all the anti-hero. They're taking the great advantage that he has away from him. Let's see his reaction now. Can't break. And it's a fair start. And it is Raymond Durr with a start. It is Ben Johnson with a start. Can Carl catch him? No, it's Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson. 